Hello folks, Jason Cressman, JC's Bees, your Central Ohio beekeeper. I'm in the big village of Utica, Ohio today, going to the post office. Got some queens to pick up. I want to explain a little something to you about our postal service. Okay, so I made it to the post office. They called me this morning and said, Mr. Christman, you've got a queen bee here. <laughs> I said, I better have seven queen bees there. She says, well, they might be seven. They're all in one container. Let me explain something to you folks. Tuesday morning, I ordered some queens to add some new genetics to my bee yard. Um, I went ahead Tuesday and made some splits, um, figuring that by Thursday, my queens would be here. Um, these particular queens that I ordered are from Gardner's Apiary in Bexley, Georgia. Um, they have a super deal on queens, and I've had great luck with them in the past, so I thought I'd give them a try again. Um, anyway... Yesterday morning, I get a phone call from a post office about 60 miles from me um, in Lewis Center. And she tells me, Mr. Christman, um, I apologize, but somehow your queens got sent out on our trucks today. And I said, excuse me, where are you at? She says, we're down here in Lewis Center. And I said, how did my queens get there? She says, well, I think what happened is, is they read St. Louisville in your address and somehow mistake that for Lewis Center. Oh. Oh, goodness. I said, yeah, I could see that happening. I see that happen here at my house quite a bit. Our mail carriers just aren't reading the full address. They glimpse at it, see a couple words or maybe a couple numbers and yep, they're destined to get it to wherever they think it may need to go, regardless if that's right or not. Um, it's very common for me at my house to get mail from an adjacent road, but with the same house number as mine. Very, very common. Um, I would bet you at least twice a month that happens. So I have to assume that my mail with the same house number as the other one is probably going to their house. What a mess. Um, so I wasn't surprised when the post lady called me yesterday and told me about my bees going out on their truck. She said, sadly, they won't be back until about seven tonight, but we will get them on the truck and get them to your local post office for you to pick up. Um, and I said, okay, um, I guess I appreciate you calling me, but at this point, there's nothing I can do. Um, if the queens are dead, gardeners are just going to have to replace them. Um, it's nothing that I've done. And she said, all right, well, I wanted to let you know. And I told her I appreciated her reaching out and letting me know. And, uh, and then this morning I get the phone call with our local post office saying that she has a queen bee here for me. And I tell her that there's seven of them. So anyway, we're at the post office now. Let's run in and get these queens and, uh, get them home so I can get them installed. We've got some big thunderbusters coming today and I need to get them in before the thunderbusters hit. Okay, so here they are. Let's get them home and get them installed. The first thing I want to do before I head home is check and make sure the queens are doing all right. Oh yeah, they look good. All right, let's head home. Well, I've made it home, but bad news. Starting to rain. You see the droplets on the window? It's not good. I got the queens in hand. I got the nukes right here to add them to, but it's raining. <laughs> Starting to rain. And it's supposed to get pretty heavy. So I don't dare open these up now. So I guess I'll have to hold off until tomorrow morning. So until then, I'm going to take them in and put them on my desk where I can control the temperature. They won't overheat. Um, and I'll just have to wait. But you can see a few of the bricks standing up here. Um, I actually need to lay these down because we got some high winds coming tonight. 
and I don't want them to blow off. So the ones in question, I'll lay long ways like that instead of like this. So there's one that was standing up. I need to go back there and lay those two down. Here's nukes going out tomorrow. Looks like the bees are coming back in now. Which actually answers a question for me. I had somebody ask me a couple weeks ago. Do bees return home as it's raining? Kind of looks like it. And I wasn't really able to answer that question for sure. Um, my response at the time was I do see plenty of bees rushing back to their homes as it's raining. But I can't say that every single one makes it back. Some may uh, hang out somewhere until the rain quits, for all I know, and then come home. Let's lay this down before I forget. Oh, we got a little bee laying there with some pollen on her legs. How you doing, little bee? You better go home, girl. Ladybug, what are you doing, girl? Ladybug getting wet. Ladybug getting wet. Come on, Ladybug. <laughs> That's a Ladybug being silly, girl. What are you doing? <laughs> ladybug, you're silly, girl. Let's go in the house, Ladybug. All right, folks. That's this week's video. Um, sorry I wasn't able to do more. I had plans to share uh, installing these queens. But that's not going to happen now. Um, I do want to say tune in next week because I finally got some results on the Premier Foundation. And I can't wait to share them with you. So make sure you tune in um, next Sunday, 7 a.m. Thanks for watching. JC's Bees. <laughs>